and I never really under fully understood it. I was in college and one of my professors in our film class had worked on this documentary on the side. She was a really big Sony executive and this was still on the side of that and trying to teach <laughs> the future <Yeah>. creatives. <laughs> um, and so we went, um, they did like a little screening with some of uh, the women in the documentary um, on campus for us. And we obviously went to support her. She was one of our favorite professors and we thought this was gonna be great. None of us really had any idea what this documentary was about. Hmm. And as we're watching it and the lights are dark, there's probably 2000 people with us. And, um, and I remember getting to the end of this documentary and it was about women who essentially had kind of snapped because they were um, abused in whatever their relationship was, both physically, emotionally, mentally, and uh, ended up getting convicted and going to jail. So they, they mm. followed a few different women, but one in particular, they followed a little bit more, um, was with us at that, um, at that screening. I mean, we knew some of them would be, but again, as college students, probably weren't paying enough attention to what this topic really yeah. was. <laughs> you're thinking about what's next more than what's now when you're yeah. in college a lot. Well, we just thought we were supporting our professor because we liked her. And I remember getting to the end of this documentary where they're following these women around and, um, and essentially saying, you know, in self-defense, something obviously negative had happened and they were being punished for it, but the reason behind it was right. And, I, and I'm not saying this to like condone physical violence or murder or anything like that. But that was their story. And I just remember getting to the end of the documentary and hoping and pleading the lights would not turn on. Hmm. Because I had this moment where I realized those women in that documentary were me. And that was tough. Yeah. Because I also realized in that moment I became a statistic. <laughs> 